to friends and family. What's going on? I hope you all are doing just great. It's Thomas Young, 18 Wheels Maneuvering Skills, with a really, really short video about tailgating. You know, going from place to place, I see a lot of tailgating. I'm talking about cars, tailgating trucks, trucks, tailgating cars. What's up with all this tailgating? What's up with all this falling too close? Can we just take it easy, relax, keep a safe following distance? All right, no one likes to be tailgated. I don't, you don't. My family don't, yours don't either. Pisses me off when someone close to me like that. You know, how do people feel in front of you when we're close to them though? So think about it. The only thing as far as space that you can control is what's in front of your vehicle. You control that. Yeah, I know people cut us off. They cut you off. What you gonna do, run over them? You gotta recreate the space. A lot of times when they do cut in front of us and let the slam on the brakes, it's probably because, I said probably, because we're falling too close in the first place. Before they even got in front of us, we was already tailgating. So if you go a little bit slower than the floor of traffic, when people cut in front of you, they should be moving on. You very seldom touch your brakes. All right, so don't tailgate. Just keep it safe. When you tailgate the one, it makes them feel unsafe, scared, frightened, intimidated. For what? They're scared of being injured, crippled, or killed. So if you don't tailgate them, then it makes them feel safe, comfortable, relaxed. And it also makes them feel something we never think about. They feel protected. And that's what it's all about, protecting the motor in public. As you keep yourself safe, you keep them safe too. Now here's a short video of a truck that I witnessed going down the interstate that were, um, I figured, tailgating. And then I'm gonna show you a short clip of a truck that was not tailgating. All right, which category are you in? Let's check it out. Talking about following distance, we're on highway, we're on the highway, on the interstate, traveling at highway speeds. Is this a good following distance? Hell no. <laughs> this truck hits the brakes, you hit the truck. All right, unacceptable. Is this a good following distance? Nope, because you cannot safely stop if this truck was to all of a sudden stop. Okay, so what is a good following distance? A good following distance on the highway at highway speeds is at least seven seconds. How can you tell? Is it four car lengths? Is it two truck lengths? No, you can't go by that because you can't always judge the speed of other vehicles. What you do is, once the vehicle in front of you passes a fixed object, let's say something like a pole, I don't know, it could be, uh, you know, the zipper, like the lines on, in the road or whatever. You start counting 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, you know, until you get to 7. As long as you get to 7 before the object. If you get to the object before you get to 7, then you don't have a second, 7 seconds following distance, so you need to increase that. Okay, that is a good, good, good way to do that. Now, is this a good following distance now? No, what this is, is your comfort zone. You feel comfortable being this close to another vehicle that's in front of you. They're pretty much controlling your action. They hit the brakes, you gotta hit the brakes. All right, if they hit the brakes hard, you gotta hit them hard. So don't let that happen. And you already know what's gonna happen next. It's always someone that's cutting right in between you. Every little space, boom, there they go. Now look at that. It might be so close and if they hit the brakes, you're probably gonna hit them. You're either going to hit them or you're going to try to avoid them and probably roll the truck over a jackknife or sideswipe someone else. All right. All that's un all those are unacceptable options. So you'll be like, well, I got a camera. They cut in front of me. OK, that's all good. But cameras don't always do the justice you think it's going to do for you anyways. 
because a lot of times in the car law, this car that caused you to hit the hemp, hit the car, they don't even pay attention to that one no more. That's a given. Here's the situation where they look at it and they try to tie it back to you. They well, they say, well, before the car even got in front of you, according to your camera, you were already tailgating. Had you not been tailgating and the car cut in front of you, then you would have had enough following distance to not have an accident. Okay? So think about what I'm telling you. It's not always this. It could be this that caused this. You feel me? Don't put yourself in that position. Go ahead. Make sure you have at least a seven seconds following distance. Go slower than the floor if you have to. I don't know what speed of your vehicle, but this vehicle moving on, go slower. Let them everybody get out of your way. The only thing you can control is the space in front of you. If someone cuts in too close, back off. Let them get on out the way. Otherwise, that's what's going to get you in trouble is what's in front of you. So don't let that happen. Let nobody control you in that manner. Okay? Be safe, drive safe, operate safely, and protect yourself and the motor in public. Okay? Thank you.